Ever wondered why you feel so lonely despite having a thousand followers on Instagram? Welcome to the paradox of the digital age. Here we are, more connected than ever, yet somehow we're feeling more isolated. It's the social media madness, folks. You see, social media, with its endless streams of likes, shares and followers, can give us the illusion of connection. But how deep do these connections really go? How meaningful are they? Can a hundred comments on your latest selfie replace a heart-to-heart -heart chat over a cup of coffee? Often we're just skimming the surface of connections, not taking the time to dive deeper. We're collecting followers like trophies, but we're not really getting to know them. And they're not really getting to know us. So while you might have a thousand followers, how many do you actually connect with? The numbers game can be deceiving, can't it? Are your digital connections causing real disconnections? We're living in a time where we're more connected than ever before. The world is at our fingertips, literally. Yet paradoxically, we're also more alone. You see, in a world where a tweet is a conversation and a status update is a life event, we're trading the depth of real-life relationships for the breadth of digital ones. We're mistaking followers for friends and likes for genuine appreciation. It's the digital age's cruel irony. We're so engrossed in our screens that we're missing out on the world around us, on the human touch, the laughter, the shared experiences that make life rich and fulfilling. It's time to strike a balance. To remember that while technology connects us globally, it's the face-to-face -face interactions that connect us humanly. So put down the phone, close the laptop and live your life. Remember, a digital like is no substitute for a real-life smile. Are you comparing your backstage to everyone else's highlight reel? It's a trap we can all fall into, especially in today's digital age. You know, when you're scrolling through social media and suddenly feel like everyone else is leading a more exciting life than you, that's the comparison trap. But here's the truth. What we see online is often a curated, filtered version of reality. It's a highlight reel of people's best moments, not a full representation of their lives. It's easy to forget this and start comparing our everyday realities, our backstage, to these polished images. This comparison can lead to feelings of inadequacy, loneliness and even depression. It's important to keep perspective and remember that nobody's life is perfect, despite what their social media profiles may suggest. So next time you're scrolling through Instagram, remember, you're only seeing the highlight reel. Are you too busy being busy? It's a peculiar question, isn't it? But in our modern world, it's one we should all be asking ourselves. We've become obsessed with the hustle and bustle, the constant go, go, go. We wear our busyness like a badge of honor, as if being busy equates to being important or successful. But here's a thought. Could this frantic pace of life be contributing to our feelings of loneliness? When we're so engrossed in our to-do lists, we often overlook the simple, meaningful moments of connection with others. We miss out on the shared laughs, the comforting hugs, the heart-to-heart -heart talks, it's essential to understand that being busy is not inherently bad. However, when it starts to isolate us from the world and the people around us, it's time to take a step back. So maybe it's time to stop being busy and start being present. Are you connected 24 seven, but still feeling alone? Let's unravel this paradox. We live in an age where we're constantly plugged in, constantly reachable. Our devices buzz, ping and glow with updates around the clock. But here's the catch. While we're more connected than ever, we often feel more isolated. This is the myth of constant connectivity. It tricks us into believing we're surrounded by social interactions, when in reality, we're missing out on genuine quality connections. It's not just about how many followers you have or how many likes your latest post got. It's about meaningful engagements, shared experiences and deep conversations. Our devices make it easy to forget that behind every profile is a real person with real emotions and real lives. So it's time to challenge the myth, to seek quality over quantity, to remember that it's not about how often you're connected, but how you're connected. Are you afraid to show your true self? Now let's plunge into the fear of vulnerability. It's a common human trait, really. We all have our shields up, our masks on. We're terrified of being seen for who we truly are because, well, what if people don't like what they see? But here's the irony. It's this very fear that stops us from forming genuine connections. Authenticity, my friends, is the cornerstone of real relationships. It's about letting someone see you, 
the real you, warts and all. It's about being brave enough to say, this is me, take it or leave it. And guess what? More often than not, people appreciate the honesty, the rawness, the realness. It's refreshing in a world of filters and facades, so let's drop the mask and show the world who we really are. It's scary, I know, but it's also liberating beyond words. It's the first step towards true connection. Can you be alone without being lonely? Let's ponder this for a moment. You see, there's a significant difference between being alone and being lonely. Being alone or solitude is a state of being, while loneliness is an emotional response to isolation. Solitude isn't just about being alone, it's about enjoying your own company and finding peace and tranquility within yourself. It's about embracing the silence and using it as an opportunity for self-reflection, for personal growth and for a deeper understanding of your own thoughts and feelings. In today's fast-paced, constantly connected world, finding time for solitude can be a challenge, but it's an important part of self-care. Embracing solitude allows you to recharge, to reset and to refocus. It allows you to develop a stronger sense of self and a deeper connection with your own needs and desires. So remember, solitude is not the enemy, it's an opportunity for self-discovery. Do you have a lot of acquaintances but few real friends? In today's hyper-connected world, it's easy to mistake quantity for quality. But when it comes to relationships, depth trumps breadth every time. Meaningful connections are like sturdy bridges over the river of loneliness. They are built not with a single grand gesture, but with numerous small acts of sincerity and kindness. It's about being genuinely interested in someone else's story and not just waiting for your turn to speak. To cultivate such connections, start by being more present. Listen to understand, not to respond. Show empathy, not sympathy. Be patient as deep connections take time to form. And most importantly, be authentic. Nothing nurtures a relationship more than authenticity. So stop chasing numbers. Instead, focus on nurturing a few deep, meaningful connections. They are the antidote to loneliness, the beacon of light in the fog of isolation. So remember, it's not about how many friends you have, but how deep your connections are. Are you chasing the illusion of perfection? In today's world, perfection is often portrayed as an attainable standard. We're bombarded with perfect images, perfect lives, perfect stories, making us believe that perfection is just within our reach. But here's the bitter truth. It's an illusion, a mirage that keeps distancing itself the more we strive to reach it. This relentless pursuit of perfection can lead to feelings of isolation. Every mistake, every flaw, every misstep seems magnified, pushing us further into our shell of loneliness. But remember, it's our imperfections that make us human, that make us unique. It's in our struggles, our failures and our flaws where we find our true strength and character. The pursuit of perfection is not a journey towards growth, but a race towards dissatisfaction and loneliness. So let's stop chasing perfection and start embracing our perfectly imperfect selves. Are you paralyzed by too many choices? Consider this. In a world brimming with possibilities, we often find ourselves overwhelmed, not empowered. This is the paradox of choice. It's like standing in an aisle full of cereals, too many to pick from. This abundance of options can sometimes lead to feelings of loneliness and isolation. Why? Because decision-making is not just about picking, it's about eliminating options. So remember, having choices is a luxury, but making decisions is a skill. Ever found a friend in the most unexpected place? It's these surprise encounters that often lead to the most meaningful connections. From a shared joke with the barista at your local coffee shop to a deep conversation with a stranger on a long-haul flight, these unexpected friendships can be a powerful antidote to modern-day loneliness. So keep your heart and mind open to these chance meetings. You never know when they might happen, so remember, sometimes the best connections are the ones we least expect. Enjoying the content? Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. It's a small action for you, but it makes a world of difference for us. It's like giving us a virtual high five. Remember, your support helps us create more content like this. Are you always online but never truly connected? It's a question that hits home for many in this age of digital hyperconnectivity. 
We're living in a world where we're constantly connected, always online, but paradoxically, we've never felt so alone. This is the myth of constant connection. It's the illusion that being perpetually plugged into the digital world equates to real meaningful connection. But here's the twist. It doesn't. Because true connection isn't about how many likes you get or how many followers you have. It's about quality, not quantity. It's about those deep, meaningful conversations that leave you feeling understood and valued. It's about the shared experiences that bind us together. It's about the vulnerability that comes with showing your authentic self, not just the highlight reel. So remember, it's not about being always online, but about being truly connected. Because at the end of the day, it's these genuine connections that make us feel less alone in this ever-connected world. So why does today's world make you so lonely? We've navigated through the labyrinth of social media madness, the illusion of perfection, the paradox of choice, and the myth of constant connection. We've grappled with our fear of vulnerability and learned to embrace solitude. It's clear that loneliness stems from a lack of meaningful connections, authenticity and self-care. Now that we've untangled this web, let's remember to prioritize quality over quantity in our connections. Remember, it's not about how many connections you have, but how meaningful they are. Thanks for joining us today. If our chat struck a chord, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give us a like. Every click helps us keep these conversations going. Remember, you're not alone. We're all in this together. Stay connected. Savored this video, fancy another? Click the on-screen video for an even deeper dive into fresh territory. Your support is like a warm cuppa on a brisk day. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe, ring that bell for the latest content. Cheers for watching.